how's it going co followers? well welcome back to my channel today i want to talk about a social media post that i just felt some type of way about and it is regarding tiana wallace if you don't know who Tiana Wallace is, she is the daughter of the famous rapper Notorious B.I.G. She is his first child and she graduated from Penn State University in 2015, majoring in business. She's a very driven young lady. Back in the 2015 interview, she talked about working in the cafeteria just so that she can learn independence and learn how to work on her own. I don't need a job, but I honestly, I'm independent like her, and I feel like if I want extra pocket money, I shouldn't have to call anyone and be like, well, can I take it? No, I just take my own money. When she graduated from Penn State, she decided to use her degree to open up her first business, and it is called Notorious. Yes, Notorious Clothing. Um, I started my clothing line in college when I was 19 mm -hmm. in 2013. Um, I always knew I wanted to do something in fashion, but I didn't really know where I wanted to lead to. Did I want to do styling? Did I want to have a clothing line? So I was like, you know what? I want to do something and I want to be inspired by my dad. I want to be inspired by like Brooklyn culture, New York culture, streetwear. So that's kind of where Notorious grew from. I'm a young business owner <laughs> and I'm proud of it being young, black, a female and owning my own business. I'm 100% proud of that. So I definitely stress that Notorious is 100% mine. She seems like a very level-headed and reserved young lady. She doesn't really like being in the limelight. Today was her birthday and the Neighborhood Talks decided to repost her birthday post. To be honest, I've never seen any social media site really post Tiana, so it was very shocking. But the most shocking thing was the comments. Out of all the celebrity kids I talked about on this channel, I have never seen it as bad as it was today. One of the comments said, I thought Saucy Santana lost weight and was on the ground wilding. Y'all wrong for this as. Somebody else said the paint job on the wall is fab. Then somebody else replied, those balloons are fire. Then you had other people saying happy 50th. Somebody even said that the young lady looked like Tupac. It was so many negative comments. It was ridiculous. Those are just some of them. I had to continue strolling just to see if anybody was defending her in the comments. And then I seen some saying some of these comments will drive a person to cosmetic surgery or even S. And after the fact, people questioned why they did it, shaking my head. Someone else said, imagine not being asked to be posted on a blog and strangers go in about your looks. Everybody ain't for everybody, but why tear her down? Who raised y'all shaking my head? These comments is why colorism amongst black people still exists, shake my head. And this is the last one I'ma share. These comments are coming from black women are extremely anti-black. When your father is a legend, then come back to throw shade. The comments were so bad that the blog had to share that she looks great and her bank account is looking pretty as well. The most disgusting thing about this post was the fact that it was a lot of women and I'm going to just say it, it was a lot of black women that were making these comments about her and I don't know if they were doing it for laughs and giggles, for likes or whatnot, but it was so disgusting and it was very disturbing, especially for me to have a channel like this and I try to speak life into black women and I try to make sure that we are uplifting each other. I'm disappointed. I'm I'm very disappointed. Why are we still making these nasty remarks when it comes to our own women? It makes no sense to me. And then when I went to research this young lady and I went to her Twitter and I just decided to type in Tiana and I typed in the word colorist, I typed in the word black and I typed in the word ugly. She's been getting added for the last 10 years of people telling her she's ugly every single day. I even found a post from her back in 2015, which she said, when you ugly, but everybody loves you. And to be honest, that made my heart hurt. There is nothing about this young lady that's ugly. And to be honest, none of these people even know this young lady. When I think of the term ugly, I think of somebody's spirit. I think of somebody's actions. I think of how that person is. And it's crazy to me because I see this happening a lot 
with the dark skinned black celebrity kids. And they often talk about social media bullying from Regine being called too fat and being said that she was too dark to hang out with her light skinned friends. Somebody even said that, you know, you're not that bad looking, but you need to put on makeup though. I honestly don't know what be going through people's heads sometimes when they leave these type of messages, especially when we leave them about each other. And let's be real, these young ladies, they have the money, they have the coins, they have the means to go ahead and get surgeries to alter their appearance and to alter how they look just based off of the comments that they receive every day. But it's not going to be a Kylie Jenner situation where they're praised. When they do change something about themselves, for instance, Riley Burris, they're going to get criticized even more. Sometimes I feel they're in a lose-lose situation. I don't only see this when it comes to black celebrity kids, but I see this with black YouTubers as well. I understand if people want to get work done for themselves, if that's something that they want to do, that's completely understandable. I'm pro do whatever you want to do. But I do feel like a lot of people get pressured into making changes about themselves that they don't even need to change. We have to learn how to stop belittling each other and educating ourselves when it comes to colorism, texturism, and featureism. You guys, let me know your thoughts and your opinions about this. What are your thoughts on the term ugly? How do you feel about that term? Do you use it in your everyday language? Do you use that to describe somebody as far as their person? personality or their appearance. I just want to say I believe this young lady is beautiful and I hate that she has to go through a situation like this on social media, especially for her birthday. Seeing over thousands of comments of people bashing your appearance can be harmful to someone. So yeah, thank you guys for watching my video. Love you guys. Stay safe. Talk to you later. Bye.